at a crate. Uh, the newer stuff to me is failing like, you know, you buy three Western Digital drives, they may all be dead within three weeks of each other. Uh, same thing of, you know, Seagates and stuff like that. Hitachi right now seems to be the leader for me right now. It changes like every six months though. Uh, so, but Western Digital has a real firmware problem right now that they don't seem to be openly declaring is a problem. Don't sue me. Uh, but it's there, and we know about it, and so things like that. No, I would say that new drives fail. You have no predictive rate for failure. It will fail in a week, three months, a day. It could be any number of things uh, with regards to even problems with the firmware stuff currently um, on the new ones since 2006. Prior to 2006, I might have given them three to five years. Prior to 1999 and 2001, I would have given them five to ten years, but not now. Uh, the new stuff, I don't trust at all, period. RAID 6, RAID mirror, anything else but that. Or Seagate, or um, uh, SCSI, yeah. Okay, so uh, so they have, Seagate has a fix. He's talking about the firmware problems for Seagate. Seagate has a fix for their current existing problems. So for instance, if a Seagate drive is still operable, it can be updated and the firmware can be updated just by getting their utility and updating it and it will work fine from then on. If the drive fails, then we actually have some tables and a short that actually has to happen on the board in order to actually repair that. Uh, and it doesn't quite do exactly what you would expect. It's not like a perfect fix or repair. And then there is some third firmware problem. Uh, so we can read the data in those other two instances, but there's this new introduction of a third firmware problem that nobody has correctly completely reverse engineered or we don't have a large enough subset of the drives, but they do still fail and we can't recover from them. And so far, even the drives that I have forwarded on to Seagate and their own data recovery company, what a comp, anyway, uh, Conflict of interest was what I was going to say, but, uh, but they cannot repair them either yet as far as I know. So nonetheless, uh, right now, there's still some other problem that has been undetermined. Yes? Well, that changes. Worst brand and best brand changes and alternates. So, you know, like, you know, in 2003, we had a bad problem with, you know, uh, Death Star drives dying on a daily basis. And now we have Seagate. So now I know of a Western Digital problem. And right now, Hitachi seems to be, which is the IBM Death Star drive, uh, seems to be the better one right now. So it rotates like every six months. I seem to have a different opinion of what that problem is for today. Um, but they're all bad. They're all bad. Make sure you have duplicates, backup, 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 redundancy, uh, anything. Just trust me. I'm, I would be fine if you guys put me out of business and I never have to recover a drive again. As long as you do good backups, let's have good quality. Please. So, anybody else? He's calling. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Right. Uh, the, uh, this is back to the secure delete, secure erase question. Basically, what is secure and why is it secure? You have to understand that th when you guys are using like DBAN and things like that, it does not wipe bad blocks. I have actually taken drives that were certified by other companies that said, hey, we wiped it and we certified that it's erased. And all you have to do is clear what's called the bad block list, the G list, and then you can read from the sectors that were originally written to, because remember, 512 bytes was written, then it was determined to be bad, then it was moved to another location. DBAN wipes the other location, it doesn't wipe the original location. So if I clear the G list, I can read that content from those bad blocks. So the only secure program at erasing drives is the one that's part of the ATA command spec, which is done by the Center for Magnetic Research and Recording by Gordon Hughes. And so if you go to Center for Magnetic Research and Recording, you can find his tool, and it is part of the ATA command spec, and it will actually ask the drive to erase tracks and does it complete by comparison to what something like DBAN. DBAN makes requests through your computer, through the API, through, you know, back out to the bias through the device. The ATA command sends it directly to the drive. The drive processes it on its own. It does it in phenomenal time. 500 gig drives are erased safely, uh, getting rid of those bad blocks uh, in about two and a half hours. What's that? Yeah, uh, if you want to shoot them or something like that. Uh, you know, the other thing that keeps being asked is about uh, demagnetizing a drive or using a demagnet. If your drive still operates after it has been degaussed, it is not correct. <laughs> okay? You did not degauss it, okay? So it.